Hey guys, nothingwired.com. I don't generally review apps, let alone free apps. But today I have an app that actually got me really, really interested because of this new feature that might help a lot of people out there, and specifically in places where they are not very privileged as far as internet uh, speed is concerned. Uh, like for example while you're traveling or in places where there are let's say no 3G or very edgy 3G or no 4G and stuff. So uh, we're talking about the new version of Opera Mini here. So it's a very very well known browser as far as mobile is concerned. It's available uh, at least for uh, both iPhone and iOS and, and Android and other platforms as well. But we'll talk about an exclusive feature that's available only on iOS that means iPhone and iPad only and that is the new Opera Mini version 9 now supports something called as video boost what is that is that you know that Opera has this Opera boost feature which essentially um, you know compress the content that's streaming or that's loading so that uh, you save your data basically so according to the internet connection speed um, it compresses the data and gives you less amount of data to stream so the data might not be of original quality but at least you do not I mean it does not lag and it does not break your experience video boost just takes it uh, you know one or maybe two step further and implement the same thing to video streaming that's a big thing in today's age where uh, most of the videos you watch probably are you know on the move on your mobile phone or your tablet so uh, we're going to quickly show you how to turn on and off that thing and uh, uh, well I'm on Wi-Fi so it's the speed is too much uh, so that you cannot actually see the difference of how the video boost implements I also tried it with um, you know um, uh, teetering my 3G connection and then connecting my iPad um, via Wi-Fi to that but even my 3G connection was too strong and the 2G connection was actually too slow for this so I do not have a real life example per se out here I really need to be traveling where uh, the connection is shaky I could have shown you the 2G version but uh, it's gonna take too long in this video anyway so first uh, let me show you the settings out there straight away so you can see you would see the opera turbo out here you see how much data it has saved this is something similar that chrome also implements nowadays uh, it also shows you how much data it saves it also tries to compress the data at the server level similar thing here so it says four percent till now when you're not even loaded any web pages you tap in here and then you have to be on the opera turbo mode you can also have um, you can also set it in opera mini mode or even you can switch off all data savings and stuff so when you're in opera turbo there you see video boost now that's the brand new button that came with this new version and this button is only available on iOS as I told you before so once you switch this on what it does is just like the data it also first checks your connection speed if it sees that your connection speed is not enough to stream um, the original video quality and it'll go ahead and it'll try to compress that particular video at the server level and to give you a, maybe a less quality video but uh, at least your buffer time would increase or maybe you do not even have to buffer the videos despite of having a very shaky internet connection now this is in Wi-Fi so you would not see the difference much but uh, just see how much time it takes generally so in the beginning I'm gonna skip the ad. So about 10 seconds have passed you know, before it um, started to stream the video. Hey guys, we have the 
the Spice brand new dream so that's our latest video out there, there and you see that uh, that's how it happened with video boost on now when I switched off the video boost and I go out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna totally close this I'm gonna go ahead and settings and I'm gonna clear all yes okay so I'm gonna go to YouTube again note that this is important to note that this does not reduce the time of watching of course uh, you're watching the same length of video so the video is gonna play for that same amount of time the difference mainly will come uh, when oh, okay that's switched off mainly gonna come when the amount of data that's streaming to your device is concerned now at time you might even see that the uh, time while starting the video just before the video that that buffering process is slightly longer when you turn on the video boost but that's mainly uh, due to the fact that it's actually compressing the data at the server level now that's very very less when you have a fast enough connection like Wi-Fi or like my 3G H plus but when you have a very shaky connection a very um, I'm gonna skip this again. Very inconsistent connection at that time you will see the difference. So see definitely the buffering the buffering um, you know before playing the video is much less when I switched off the video boost because now it's not trying to compress the video as much as uh, when I switched on the video boost. But when you see the quality now it's uh, much better so it's great when you have a fast yeah, enough connection mind you when you have a 3g connection or a wi-fi connection where you're not much concerned about uh, the data loss or the data spend maybe with 3g but not with wi-fi definitely but when you have a 2g or let's say 2.5g or when you're traveling you want every bit of mb to count there the video boost can actually give you that same buffer free experience it actually gave me same buffer free uh, experience plus um, it's also gonna compress the data so that your data spending after all is much less than this high quality video during traveling it really really helps see that time you do not exactly want a full HD uh, video or um, you know full HD song you just wanna enjoy maybe even um, at less resolution but your data should be there the data should be optimized to the fullest now um, I won't say this is totally a novel idea because Chrome also does something like this whenever you have a shaky connection you have a connection that's much less speed than uh, something like a Wi-Fi or something Chrome also tries to compress the data at the server level but it kind of does it for all the data right now it does not have a specific video uh, boost uh, button or feature per se this feature is actually new and exclusive to opera mini only right now and this is uh, especially you know specifically tuned for video so which is one of the you see it's enough for the really really point. very high quality and right now. Is and i'm okay right now because i don't have to worry about data span or spending my money on data because it's Wi-Fi I have lots of data but while traveling it does matter so uh, apart from that you can also go ahead and do some of this um, you know there are speed dials and other stuff that are really very good features of Opera. Opera has always been one of the most beautiful browsers that I have seen both on uh, in the case of Windows as well as in case of mobile Windows uh, Opera may not be the most uh, popular browser out there but it's always been one of those classiest browsers I've loved the uh, uh, themes and um, you know the way the look and feel of the browser the animations everything look very very beautiful to me I generally uh, use Chrome most of the time but at times over Firefox I generally prefer Opera and in mobile opera is of course one of the most famous browser you know so that's about the opera mini version 9 guys so it's really gonna help you saving a lot of data and now even video is included thank you